Hey guys, welcome along to another video on the A500 Mini. This time I've had a few questions on a couple of games that may be running a little bit too fast. And due to looking up, doing a bit of research on Facebook groups and on YouTube and stuff like that, I've come up with a, a fix. Well, I haven't come up with it, obviously other people have, but I'm going to tell you about it on this channel in case you know you want to know. And I have had some questions about it in the past and I haven't been confident enough myself to advise people to do this, but I've been watching, uh, like I said, videos and reading posts and and this is how you potentially fix the speed issue. It does involve a little bit of technical work, so we'll be switching back from the A500 Mini to the PC uh, and vice versa. So let's go and I'll talk you through it. Okay, so here we are on the A500 Mini. I'm gonna select a game that somebody in my comments said was going running too fast. Um, so I'm gonna load up a bit of Wings, uh, which is one of my favorite games. I haven't actually got around to playing it yet, so I'm quite glad somebody pointed this out so that I can uh, put a little fix in if I can do it and so it'll be in place when I play it okay so here we are all loaded up and we'll get into the game Still as awesome as I remember. I love this. I love the vibe of this game. I just love it. They, they do capture that very well. It's a fairly simple game when you think about it, isn't it? But a lot of fun. Okay, so here we are in the game itself. And yeah, it does seem to be running a, a bit faster than I remember. It, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's quite hard to play at that speed, isn't it? Okay. Right, so this is where we implement part one of the potential fix. Now, I'm not going to say this is definitely going to work for this game, but it may work for this game. And if it does, it, it may work for other games. I've seen a, a couple of videos where people have got games that were running way too fast, um, slowed down a little bit. So hopefully it'll be something they can fix in the firmware later. Um, but, you know, for now, this is a temporary thing you can do yourself. OK, so what you want to do is go out of here as we do with the home button and go back in and go into the settings for this game so keep the game open obviously go into the settings for it all you want to do in here is change something so you could like i don't know deselect the mouse as we don't use mouse in this game do we so yeah deselect the mouse or do something map remap the gamepad whatever what you want the system to do is to create the uae.uae file for this game okay so once you've done something like that and come out of here we can leave the A500 Mini and we will go onto the PC and do a little bit of editing. Okay, here we are on the PC. As you can see, my USB stick is plugged in. So we'll find Wings in the W folder, obviously. I know you know your alphabet, so we'll go into W. And what we want to do is find the Wings.uae file. Now, what I would advise to do is make a copy onto the desktop. I do that. A for speed, B just in case something goes wrong with it, then you've got your backup in the stick still. So take that onto desktop. Make sure you can see your file extensions, obviously, because what you want to do is now change this to a .txt file, not a .uae, so you can open it up with Notepad. Okay, once you've done that, create a new line within the notepad here and you want to type cpu underscore speed equals real or one line just type that in once you've done that save the file and go back out of it and onto the desktop now what you want to do is rename the extension back to .uae and then once we've done that and press the button obviously we can now drag it back onto the stick in the W folder and obviously overwrite the UAE that we created earlier. Okay, now that's happened. Let's unplug the stick and we'll go back on the mini and we'll check what has happened. Okay, so back on the mini here. So we'll do our usual stuff, go into wings, load it up again. Wait patiently while it loads. It's quite a long old screen this one, isn't it? While we're waiting for it to load, there's an important thing you have to remember on this part. Now you've done this fix, don't go into the settings for this game. Because if you go back into the settings, 
it will overwrite your UAE file with a new one and basically that fix you've put in will disappear so try and remember that once you've put a fix in on this you know this method with the UAE file don't go back into the settings so maybe when you're first in there if you're gonna change the crop and everything else make sure you change all that because it will remember that uh, but don't go in and do it again if you do you'll have to you can go through and do this whole process again it's not a problem but obviously that's a pain in the bum so you don't really want to be doing that do you so just make sure that you don't go into the settings if you can if you can help it um, okay so we're loading the game up now and I think I think it's running a bit slower it's quite hard to tell sometimes with a game like this because the plane whips around as fast as you whip it around you know so in that sense it can be quite difficult to to know but I think I think personally speaking that is definitely running a little bit slower um, maybe you'll tell me in the comments if you've tried it if you think it is too I mean it's different watching the video and actually playing it isn't it so uh, see how you feel and, and any other games you get running faster if you can't fix it with the blitter and the copper fixes within the expert settings because there are things you can try like you can toggle on and off and toggle the speed and stuff like that obviously this is a handy extra fix um, and hopefully this is something because it's to do with obviously the the files themselves they may be able to do something in the firmware um, to fix this problem permanently which would be a, a huge help and I'm sure they're working on things behind the scenes so hopefully we'll get some announcements on some new stuff soon okay guys thank you so much for watching thank you for being a part of my channel I really appreciate it if you're not yet what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button if you would uh, like and share the video with your friends and um, any anyone who's into the a500 or any retro games i have other systems on here it's not just all about the mini or the amiga there's lots on here lots for everybody and if you've got any suggestions for future videos don't forget to leave them in the comments if you're having any issues with the a500 mini or anything else that you want to put in the comments please don't forget to put them down there and you know if i can't help you then there are plenty of people around here with lots of knowledge that will be certainly very happy to do so i'm sure if you want to get in touch with me on any of my social media accounts the addresses are currently circling around or the logos are circling around on the screen and uh, yeah feel free by all means and uh, you have a lovely day out there and obviously continue to uh, chat to me in the comments i love talking about the mini and every, all things amiga and everything so yeah thanks for being a part of it guys really appreciate it take care see you on my next one Bye for now.